For a great tea experience, tea tray is essential. It's beautiful. It's functional. How do you choose? Let's find out. Hi everyone. Today we're gonna talk about how to select the right tray for yourself. Now, a tea tray is it essential to、uh, for tea making? Well, it is convenient and also it's a complete. It makes the tea ceremony more complete, I should say. Now, how to select a right tray? Material. First, let's understand that.、Uh, commonly, you will see wood on the market. This is wood.、Uh, this is a lighter kind of wood, but it also comes in rosewood. Now, rosewood would be a darker color. Besides wood, you would also see、um, porcelain. Porcelain would be something like this in my hand. Now, porcelain,、um, not super common, but it's out there. Depends on what decor you want, right? So the porcelain and nice color, and it's a little bit heavier. Besides that, the most commonly is bamboo. Now bamboo comes in different types of bamboo.、Uh, this one I have on my hand here is a regular bamboo called white bamboo. So it's a light,、uh, more whiter in color. And then if you get into more trendy nowadays, is the pressed bamboo. Pressed bamboo meant to be pressed, so it's a little bit heavier than regular bamboo, and the color is generally darker. Now, when the dark,、uh, darker color, it's quite easy to match what decors you have at home. It's a very nice and trendy piece. Besides that, there's also aged bamboo. Aged bamboo, typically the、um, the bamboos are larger in、um, each segment of the bamboo is larger. They come in different shapes as well. And the most artistic, my love, is stone trays. Now, stone trays again comes in different shape. They're generally larger. They are piece of art on its own, even when you not in use. And I just love them. They are beautiful, and they season nicely. And what about when I want to do dry brew? What kind of tray do I use? Hey, you can use something like this rectangle with some wood. Those are meant to be.、Uh, Do not hold water, so you would have another vessel on the side to pour your water in. But they're cleaner, and they are also for people who prefer the setting to be more minimalistic. Those are good choices. And what I have in front of here, this one, we also use in as a tray, but the tray for our main piece of tools when we do our tea making. Is、uh, for teapot, or you can you put, place a guy wine on it as well, like that. And this holds quite a bit of liquid already, so it's again very minimalistic and it's functional. So、uh, the function of the,、uh, each of the tea trays, what you can find on the market,、um, panel is the one that you see commonly. Panel is the one that I refer to, the one that you lift the panel up and you dump the water like that. Okay, so this is panel.、Uh, what are the benefits and disadvantage of it? Benefit is that it's lightweight, it's、uh, generally smaller.、Uh, the disadvantage is you need to remove every single item off the tray before you can pick this up and dump it. But they are very portable; they can move around your house as you please. So. Um, depends what your style you want to. Other one, drawer liner. Drawer liner is what it, this drawer like this. It holds water, so、uh, you don't need to be cleaning up your tray on top. It's just just wiping it down, of course. You just just take the drawer, dump the water, and you're done. And last and not least is the one that we use with a plastic tube. What this plastic tube do? It actually hooks up on the holes in the bottom of the tray, or if it's in a drawer, it has a little、um, outlet that you hook it up to, and that goes into another vessel, another bucket.、Um, so it it's meant to be if you have a bigger space or you want you you have a designated table for your tea ceremony. Perfect. So you don't need need to move your tray all the time, and that goes right at the water gets dispensed into the bucket directly. 
those are very very um, friendly to use as well next um, let's talk about um, size a lot of people say hey what size should I get uh, I don't want to get too small I don't want to get uh, too big so generally um, you have to think of how many guests that you typically serve and if you're placing tea pads you like your uh, teapots on there how would you like your tea tray to be set up so that determines the size that you want um, I genuinely like a little bit of tea pad I have a, a, a tea pad that holds the lid and things like that so I want size minimum um, you know size that will fit four to six um, which typically I would indicate perhaps you know when I uh, on our website for example that I would indicate the number of people that is good for uh, so you can choose from that way as well so besides the size we talk about the shape um, most very commonly you see rectangular shape because rectangular shapes are very easy to um, you know to fit into spaces and is you know very functional but more recently you know they come in more trend tea is also a very trendy thing so there comes in round shapes like this even oval small rectangular many different shapes to fit the lifestyle that you have and fit the uh, the look that you want to uh, achieve right and lastly um, maintenance of your tea tray Tea, because you're dealing with tea tea has oil tea has color so you want to clean it up really nicely stone tray for example stone tray um, you want it every time after your tea service you have tea uh, tea liquid that is remaining on the surface you don't need to rub it off with a soap or anything like that what you do is a nice tea towel you want to um, wet it and then you want to buff it just wipe it down with the tea or the tea that you have on the tray. The tea actually seasons it. The more it's seasoned, the more beautiful it gets. And that completes the tea experience for everyone. Not just the tea tasting, your tea tools, plus your tea tray. So different size, different shapes. You know, look for the one that suits your lifestyle and the space that you're gonna put it in. It'll look beautiful and it'll be functional. Have fun. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below. For more tea content, like, subscribe, and share. Cheers.